Okay. Well, praise the, praise the Lord. We welcome you once again to uh, Praise Chapel Bible Studies. It's called Fire Starters here in the city of Upland. Amen. And we're serving the, Sang the Inland Empire. Glory to God. Amen. Uh, we just want to welcome you to the live stream and those that are here today. And I just hope that, uh, I believe that, that, uh, that you'll get from God today. You'll hear from God and, and, uh, and uh, it'll change lives, you know, or, or brings, uh, bring revelation. Whatever you need today, God's going to supply it for you today. Amen. Amen. So glory to God. Uh, our, our, uh, our title for the message today is Power of Persevering Prayer. Power of persevering prayer, persevering prayer, amen. And uh, our, our text is uh, is in the book of Luke, chapter 18, 1 to 8. But before uh, we get to that, I want to I wanna read a couple of scriptures, and you don't have to follow them now that I already got them written down, and I'm gonna and I'm gonna just uh, uh, read them to you. It's in Mark 12. 38 to 40, and he said unto them in, this, in his doctrine, Beware of the scribes which love to go in long clothing and love situations and, and, and in, in, the, in, the, in the marketplaces and the chief, and the chief seats in the synagogues and in the, in the upper rooms of, of, of feasts, which devour, devour widows they were widows' houses, and for a a, pre, a, a, a pretense to make long prayers, these will receive a, a greater uh, a, a damnation. And he's talking about a widow. He's talking about the how the how the how the, how the scribes will take 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 advantage of the widows. And then in a, and then a, the other one in Luke chapter two, verse thirty-six to thirty-seven, he said, and there was one Anna, a prophet. The daughter of Phanel, and of the tribe of the tribe of Acer. she was a she was a a great she was a great age, and had lived with a, with a husband seven years from her virginity, and she was a widow, of about four scores and and and, and four scores four scores years, which departed not from the temple, but served God with fasting and prayers night and day. So here we see another widow. Praise God, but she, but she, uh, when she lost her husband, she stayed in the temple, and she, she, was, she served God in the temple night and day in prayer and all the time. And then we have one in, in Luke chapter seven, verse eleven and twelve. And it came to pass the day after that 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 he went, no, he with Jesus, he went into a into a city called Nain, and many of the disciples went with him, and much people. And when he came nigh unto the unto the gate of the city, behold, there was a, a dead man carried out, the only son of, a, of his mother, and she was a widow, and much people of the city was with her. So here's another widow that 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 I, we're, we're, that we're reading on, but she but God had Jesus had compassion on her. He he knew that that she was a widow. He knew that that was her son that had died, but she had nobody else. And so she, he knew that how, how, how lonely she was. She was heartbroken. But if you read it later on, uh, he rose that son from the dead, you know. And, and uh, so she, she at least had a family to go to. So, uh, so let's go into the, into now the, the, uh, our, our regular text is in Luke chapter, uh, Luke chapter uh, 18. And, and this is a parable that we're going to be reading. We're going to be reading from 1 to 8. It says, and he spoke this a parable unto them to this end, that men ought to always pray and not to faint, saying, There was a there was in a city a judge which feared not God, neither regarded man, and there was a widow in that city, and she came unto him, saying, Avenge me of my of my adversary. And, and he would he would not for a, for a while. But afterward he said within himself, Though I, though I fear not God, nor regard man, yet because this widow troubles me, I will avenge her. At least by, the, at least by her continued uh, coming, she worry me. <clears throat> and he said, and the Lord said, hear, hear what the unjust judge says, and, and, shall, not, and, and shall not God avenge his own elect, 
which cry day and night unto him though, 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 uh, though he bear along with him? I tell you that I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith in, in, on the earth. And that, thank you, Father God. I pray right now, Father God, for your word. I thank you for the Holy Spirit, Father God. And I pray, Father God, the anointing of me, Father God, will come forth, Father God, in the name of Jesus. So we see here, we're talking about a, 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 a widow that, that went to uh, the judge. And she had, uh, she said, avenge my adversaries. So apparently she was going through the trouble where, where in the first in the first script that we read about that the scribes are probably uh, trying to take away her house, trying to trying to trying to uh, 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 bother her, whatever it was. But she but she had adversaries, and, and she kept going to the judge, you know, to uh, to avenge of the adversaries. And in the verse verse one, it says, in verse one it tells her, he tells her pray and not and not. And not faint. So that that's the word for us. Pray and not faint. But the word not faint means not to lose heart. You know, we pray, we pray, we pray, and it seems like nothing has happened. But God says, don't lose heart. Do not do not give up. Do not do not uh, give in to doubt. A lot of time we're praying for something and, and it doesn't happen right away, and we begin to doubt what, what you know is it God or is it God? So that's what he's telling us. Don't lose like like uh like, don't lose doubt, he says. Or don't fear. That's what he's telling. Don't fear. Like like uh let's say uh let's say uh, uh in a few months we're, we're gonna be doing our income tax. And right away we start fearing about, about the IRS, about what's gonna happen, what's gonna happen. Well, if we do the things right, we won't have any trouble with the IRS. But if but if something happens that they want to come after you, then don't be afraid. God will take care of it. As long as you do anything right, there's nothing they, they can do to you. So it's fear, or anything else that, that you might have fear, or or don't don't get don't allow unbelief or discouragement to come in when you're praying and you're praying and and, and there's there doesn't seem like it's coming around, doesn't it happening, nothing is happening. But the Bible says, don't go into unbelief, don't get discouraged, or or or, or use or use excuses for unbelief for whatever. Uh, because okay, you don't have to get the answer immediately. A lot of times we we um, we uh, use a, an excuse. Well, this is why I didn't get it because this because of that. No, no, no. You're praying. You're believing. You're receiving. Just keep praying, huh? And that's that, that's what it is. You don't you, you don't you don't pull back. You know. So. And that and that that's what the, 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 the that's what the people say. Well, people say well, uh, well maybe maybe uh, maybe uh, I, I, I maybe. Uh, he doesn't want to give it to me, or maybe God doesn't, doesn't want to answer me, or maybe uh, maybe maybe this or maybe that, or or, or maybe that's human nature. We, we shouldn't receive it as human nature. No, you don't believe that's that's a flesh that, that's telling you that God's not going to give you anything or answer your prayer. It says here, what we need to do is rebuke and, and resist all opposition to the answer and all suggestions. A failure. In other words, when something comes in and it starts telling you, "Oh, they're not going to get it," or "This is going to happen," rebuke that. Rebuke that, that that opposition that comes against your prayer. Rebuke it, you know, and and uh, and, and and don't allow don't allow the enemy to 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 sidetrack you. You know. So the first thing you start rebuking it. That, that you know. We we need to understand. We need to understand. The Bible says, the Bible tells us, you know, you ask, you have not for you ask not. Or it says also in the scripture that says, whatever you ask the Father in my name, I will do it. So when we go to prayer, when we go to, when we go to prayer or we're asking for something, that's a divine blood, blood bought uh, uh, answer for us, you know. We, we, it's a divine blood right to get an answer because it's already paid. So we so we can't back off. We can't lose heart. We, we can't give up because 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 once we start giving up, then we're not going to believe God for anything because we because start getting losing faith. We start to be, we walk in unbelief, and by the time you know we, we're just saying, "Oh, He's not going to give it to us." But just but look what happened here. The Bible tells us the Bible tells us that not to lose heart. In verse three, it says there was a there was a widow. Okay. So there was a widow. Yeah, 
They said that, that there was a widow. Now they're talking about a widow here. Now I, I, I looked up in the in, in, in the in the concordance in and I wanted to find out how many how many widows were mentioned in the Bible. So I know that I know there's a lot of them, but only only twelve of them were mentioned in the Bible. Mm -hmm. Only twelve of them. Eight were in the Old Testament and four in the New Testament. And I'm bringing out three. I already brought three of them out, you know, in the Old in the New Testament. So it was important, you know. This is why this, 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 uh, there's a uh, uh, the the title of the message is is, is, uh, is is the power of persevering prayer. Because she went in and she and she was praying constantly. She says in verse three in, in verse three he says and it talks about and she came on to him. And she came on to him. In other words, she came repeatedly and, and she came repeatedly pestering the judge beyond beyond endurance. When when he says when she when he says that she came on to me, it means that she was coming every day, repeatedly every day, and pestering him and beyond beyond uh, beyond endurance. I mean, he was getting tired of her uh, of coming, and that's the way we're supposed to be. We're supposed to be if, we, if, if we're believing for God for something, then we continue to pray and pray and pray. Like okay, when like uh, like uh, like Jacob. Like Jacob, when he wanted something, he got he wrestled he wrestled with with, with, with the angel of God, and and he wouldn't let him go, and, and and even and even though he had him on a headlock, whatever it was, but he 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 stayed with him all night, all night until he got what he wanted, and that's the way we're supposed to be. We can maybe we don't pray all night, but we can pray you know every, every time we get a chance and, and bombard the kingdom of heaven you know with prayer, because that's that's when we're gonna start getting our results. We cannot, we cannot walk in doubt. We cannot walk in unbelief. We, we cannot give up in our prayers. Because when we give up, that's when the devil takes over. So then she came unto him repeatedly. And, 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 that was, and that was a secret of her success. In, 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 get, in getting her answer. She, she, she had a secret there. And that was a secret of her, her success of getting her, her answer. Because what happened, no matter what happened, she was there every day, every day, pestering that judge, coming against her. And she wasn't beating him up physically, but she was coming at him with the word of God, or in prayer, or, or, or begging him. But whatever it was, she didn't give up. Because she was getting tormented. Her adversaries were after her. So she said, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get what I want. And this judge is going to do it for me. And I'm not going to give up until I get my answer. And he said here, in verse 4, he says, it says, he will not, he said, he will not for a while. He will not for a while. In other words, he would, he would, he would answer her for a while. He would, he would do it. But, but, but the persistent or the pestering went on without let up and it changed the picture. He didn't want to do it. He wasn't going to do it. But but he, but but her pestering him, she said he was pestering me and all went on for went on for a long time. But with that pestering, it, it, it changed the picture. She began to see that he was softening it up. She began to notice that that something was happening. So she just plunged in more and more with with with, with, with coming after him. See, we gotta we gotta bombard the kingdom of heaven with our prayers. We gotta we gotta really really if, if we have something that. Like our children, we need to put more time in our children in prayer, more time into so they can come into the kingdom of God. We just can't say rub them, them, pray for the grub. We really gotta get down them. She prayed and she went up to the judge until she got what what she wanted, or she came after. In verse four, he also says, "It says, but afterward he said." In other words, afterward he said. After after he tolerated her persisting to the to the breaking point, you know, he tolerated her to the to the to all her persisting to the to the breaking point. Can you imagine this judge, you know, hardcore judge, you know, he didn't he didn't he didn't he didn't know God, he didn't he didn't believe in God, he didn't regard man for anything, just for himself. He was he was a very selfish judge, but yet. And yet, he yet she kept coming after him and coming after him. And so he got, he said, he, he couldn't tolerate the pest, the pestering anymore. He came to a to a, to a breaking point. 
You know, so we, we were praying and praying and praying and we're asking God. We can't break God, but we can break the, 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 the strongholds around us by, by, by coming to God and asking Him for asking Him what, what we need, glory to God. But it's got to be something that something that that that, uh, that is not just up 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 the up the up the up the, up the, up the, the grill or whatever it is. It's got to be something that, that 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 really like the children, like the economy, you know, everything. You know, he says. But he said. But 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 verse four. He says. But afterward, he says, after he tolerated her persisting to a breaking point, he says, and he knew he would never have any more. Peace until he got rid of her. He knew that. He knew that he was. She was bothering him. She was coming after him every day, and, and he knew that he was not going to get any peace. You know, any peace until until he got rid of her. And they say, hey, somebody get this woman out of here. Get her. Out. Get her a husband. She's the way. Get her a husband, but get her out of my sight. You know, because he was. He was already. He was already tired. Don't never pray. Don't ever pray. I said it before. Don't ever ever pray. Let it be your will, God. Because God, is, that is His will. God will for everybody to be saved. God will for us to have things. So don't pray, God, if it be your will. No. Then then, then we're coming against Him because it is His will for us. To, to, uh, unless it's something that, that it's nothing that that, that that is not right. Then then you know. But don't ever pray. Let it be your will, God. I I, I stop praying that. Let it be your will. I said, if God, if you said it, and it says it here in, in Scripture and everything, then it's your will for me to have. It's uh, my will for, for me to, uh, to do these things. He never would have. He never would have had peace until he got her rid of her. And the only way, well, the only way to do this was, was grant to do the request. That was the only way. He, he knew he knew that she was going to keep coming at him, and she, she pondered it, he thought about it, he, he, he was getting weary, he was going through all that, he, I mean, he, was, he probably was even getting sick, because he was, he, he was so tired. But, but, but he said, okay, I, I'm going to grant to her request. He says, he says here in verse 5, because the widow troubles me, because she's troubling me. In other words, she, she's a, in other words, trouble means she, she's beating him. Or, or, or he's toiling, or, uh, or he's uh, suffering pain, or, or weariness. You know, that, but that all came on him. She, he was so troubled that at, at one time you know, he, he, he was suffering. He, he felt he was getting pain, and, and, and he was being weary. Now, now I said, but, but the word trouble, he troubled me. It means to cause mental pressure to the point of fatigue and exhaustion. In other words, she wasn't beating him up, but all that, all that pounding, I'm out there going after, going after, and going after him. It, it caused, it caused a mental pressure. You know, it started mentally. It started, he started getting fatigued. He started getting exhausted. You know, and and and, uh, and he couldn't take it anymore. Even though he was the judge, even though he was, you know, somebody important, yet her persistent. Her persistent brought him down to where she could she could she could deal with him, you know. He he couldn't he couldn't he couldn't he couldn't he couldn't get away from her. He couldn't he couldn't he couldn't get away. He, he couldn't get rid of her because I believe that God's hand was upon her because she allowed she she kept on persisting and she wasn't going to give up and she was going to get what she wanted and what she needed. And the judge and the judge saw that. So in verse five he says he says he says I will avenge her by her perpetual coming she she has harassed or pestered me beyond endurance that's what he that's what he was saying by by her coming so much and pestering me and, and harassing me and and, and, and I, I can't it, it's beyond I can't endure that I, I can't take it anymore and you know that that, that she wasn't the only one that was there. He, there were more ju people coming to see the judge, but she was the only one that was there, was there knocking at the door. Not the door. He, she probably didn't have to knock anything. She, she, she went into the into the chamber wherever he was at, 
But 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 there was other people there that had to talk to him. But she was the one that that that, that went to the front and said, "You know what? I want to get. I need what I, I need, and I'm coming. I'm coming with what I need. I, I need that. I need your help." He says, "Though she weary me." You know, he was saying that in verse in verse five. <clears throat> Though she weary me, it means to annoy into compliance. She annoyed him so much. I know him so much that 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 he began to give in. And you know when something when somebody's you know you know when, when somebody's giving in, you know how to apply pressure more more pressure. You don't back away. I said you apply more pressure. Well, she kept on going. She she knew he was annoyed. She knew he was, he was going through things. He, in other words, she she, she annoyed him to, to compliance or to subdue by by repeated attacks. That's what I meant by 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 by, by worry me. She, she, she subdued him with a repeated attacks, not the body, but the mental mind, glory to God. To bring him, uh, to bring under, or to wear one out into helplessness. Here's a judge that, that, uh, that one lady, one widow, brought him into submission already. Because he couldn't take it anymore. She, she, uh. He, she came at him, she came at him, and she didn't give up until until he started weakening. That, that's why this hard-hearted judge became willing to see that she got her her justice because of constantly coming at him, come, bombarding and everything. She wasn't gonna she wasn't gonna give up. She came for one thing and she was gonna receive that. Here uh, this judge, a judge that didn't believe God, that didn't regard me, he did nothing about God. He didn't care. He didn't regard man. He was on top. Everybody was under him. Yet, yet, that one lady, that one widow, that one widow brought him to his knees. The point of this parable, let me tell you the point of this parable. If such methods as the widow used would get results, you know, we got to think of a method, of a method to use to get results. She, he, she had a method that she used to get results. We, 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 uh, we're looking, we're asking God for things, we're praying for things, you know, what I mean? but we got to get a method to be able to get results from God. Not just not just to go and, and pray and, and, and that's it, you know, and, and forget about it till the next day or next week or, or two days later. We gotta continue pressing every day. All right, Lord, <clears throat> I want this, but I gotta find out how how I'm gonna approach God. And and, and to and to, to be able to, to get to be able to get what she got. She says, uh, she says so this in such this this if such methods as the word we use would get results. From 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 a, from an infidel, a, a, a utterly selfish person, it was no concern or needs of anybody. I mean, this guy didn't care about nobody but himself. You know, you know, he was selfish. He was hard-headed. Nobody could. Yet, yet, she was able to penetrate that 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 and, and, and force him and, and bring him to submission. In a sense, through 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 a. Through a mental submission, where she got, where she got, where he had to do what, what she came after, and that's 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 where we we we, we in our prayers. That, that's how we gotta get. We gotta we gotta find out what we want, you know, what what we need, but find out how to pray. Get the right words. Get the right. Use the right scripture. Don't, don't just go in and throw any scripture in, in there. But get the right scripture so we can know. Okay, we're gonna come at at, at this situation with the scripture with with this. Whether it's bitterness, or whether it's anger, or whether it's finances, or whether it's our children, or whether it's a household, but we gotta find the right scripture for it and begin and begin to and begin to marinate that scripture, begin to read about it, begin to begin to find out more about it, dig, dig into it, and find out what 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 it means about certain things, and then you start bombarding the kingdom of heaven with that scripture or more that you have in him, you know. But whatever it is, make sure that you get the right one for the right situation. You know, because if you're not, <clears throat> if you don't, if you don't, if we don't, if we don't, uh, 
if we don't, uh, uh, how to say, uh, if we don't ask ourselves or ask, you know, or, 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 or find out what, what scripture is good for that, for that situation, what are you going to be praying to miss? We're not, we're not going to be praying for the answer. We're just going to be putting words out there, and that's not going to work. It's going to be, it's got like, like I know, some people, you got to, uh, you, you got to pinpoint what the situation is. You got to target in the situation. And I'm beginning to learn that. I'm beginning to learn that. I'm beginning to learn that. That, that when something's wrong, I, I find, okay, what's the root of it? What is the root of it? And then, then when I find out what the root is, then I look for scriptures to tell me about the root of that of that situation, and I begin to use that scripture for that root of that situation, you know. And that that's that's, the, that's the, like I said, I had a, I had a pain in my ankle, man, it was pain in my kick, and <coughs> so we, I started praying, God, take away this pain, take away this pain, take away this pain, and I was anointing myself, take away this pain. But to my nature, God, take away the root that's causing this pain. Within two days, it went away. Within two days, that, that, whatever that pain was in my ankle, it went away. You know, because I was going, I was just, take, take out that root, get it out. I don't know what the root was, but he knew what the root is. So he said, I said, get it out, and he did. And, and so it, I, I've been learning more and more in, in my prayer life. After 40 some years, I've been learning a little bit more. Glory to God, but God is helping me because I'm allowing I'm allowing God to to help me to show me, you know, and how to pray and and how to, how to how to approach Him in my prayer. So it says here, if such method, methods <coughs> as as the widow used would get results from an infidel judge, a selfish judge that wasn't concerned about anybody. How much more, how much more can 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 the children of God get results in prayer by the same method? How much more us children of God can get those results by praying in that in that same method that she used? All we gotta use, all we gotta find out what prayer we need and then begin to begin to begin to uh, uh, press in and press in and press in until we receive it. Cause it ain't gonna happen. It ain't. It ain't gonna be done in one night. Or it ain't gonna be done in one, one or two hours of prayer. But we gotta press in more and more. So if we use that method that she has and continue being, continue being persistent, persevering, glory to God, and we will get answers. God, 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 God will answer prayers. Let me tell you something. God will answer prayers. There's no way that he would. Because in the Bible it says, you ask not because you have not, or you have not because you ask not, and, and, you, and you ask amiss, or it says, anything you ask the Father in my name, I will do it. We go, we go to God, Father, in the name of Jesus. And then he goes to the Father. But we got to get, we got to get scripture. We got to get scripture and get, and get, uh, uh, get a, a, a knowledge of the scripture on how to pray and how to ask God. And it's easy by, by reading the Bible. It says here, an unrighteous wrongdoing justice, a judge of injustice became a judge of justice. Here he was, an injustice judge. Didn't like anybody. He was an old. He, he, didn't, he, didn't, he, didn't, he didn't believe in God. He didn't. He, he, he disregarded man. Nobody. You know, everybody was below him. He, he was selfish, unjust, and everything. But yet, but yet, this little widow that came caused him. It says the un, unjust judge become a justice judge that through a little woman using the proper means. A guy that the guy that nobody could touch. A guy that you know. I know, I know, I remember that uh, when uh, we were at, at, in the home of soldiers and guys would come in and they had to go to court and, uh, and then they say, ah, don't go to that judge, you know, because, uh, you know, he, he's not, you know, he won't help, he's me and everything. <coughs> but that time Pastor Frank would take him to court. And that judge would allow Pastor Frank to do 
what he what he wanted to do in there. He would talk to them and everything, and, and, and he would he would allow the prisoners to come out to the home. Cause pastor used the word. He went in, used the word, and 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 and, and, and he told them what it, what, it, what uh, how the home was ran and everything, and how the men were coming in and men were being chained. Sometimes he would take men that were already chained that were already chained from. When they came out of prison, he would take them with him as witnesses, and they would just scratch his head and say, "Oh, okay, we see we we see what's happening." And and so and so, no matter how big, they, how, no matter how tough the person is, no matter how strong that the opposition is, no matter what you're going up against, as long as you use the right method, as long as you you approach it with, with the right method, God will answer your prayer. God will God God will see you through it. It might take longer. It might not happen right away. It might. It might take years, but God's going to do it. It might take a lot of years, but as long as you're, as long as you're, as long as you're in the Word, as long as you're trusting God, as long as you're doing that, He, he will, He will do it for you. In verse seven, it talks about shall not God, shall, shall God not avenge? His only let? You know, shall God not avenge his only let? If he did it for that woman, if he did it for her, if he if he caused that judge to come under submission, what more you know would, would he to do it for his only let? The word he let means the one he, he picked out. We've been picked. We've been chosen. And that's what the word means. We've been would not God do for he chose us? We're, 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 his, we're his children. He said, though he bear long, in verse 7, says, though he bear long, yet he will do it. He says in verse 8, I tell you, he will avenge them speedily. I will avenge them speedily. This is, this is, this is Christ's assurance that prayer will be answered. It, 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 it's in the Bible. He assures that that, 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 that the prayers will be answered. Remember, remember how how, how uh, when your kids were growing up, they were babies growing up, two or three years old, maybe more older, and they wanted to come to you, Mama, what, can I have this? No. Why? Because I said no. Why? Because I said no. Why did you say no? And I said no. Why, Ma? Because I said no. Can I have it? No. 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 I, I, no, you can't have it. Why? Because. Why? Because. Because why? Because. And, that, and they were there. Why? 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 By the time they know, huh? And you go and you, and you give him what he wants. You give him what he wants. Because that's what the way, that, that, they were passing, they were coming after you. They didn't know any better. But 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 they they knew that they wanted something, and the only way to get it was to pester and pester until until the mother breaks in, until she broke down, and so that's the way we had to be like little kids, you know, going after through prayer and prayer and prayer, and, and asking God, you know, to to answer our prayers. We gotta we have a lot, we have a lot to pray for. Sometimes we say we say, well, we don't know what to pray for. Oh yeah, just look around. We have a lot to pray for. All of us do. You know, and, 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 and if we don't, <clears throat> even with the situation right now in Israel, you know, even with the situation right now with, 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 the, with the yoke or the transgender thing, I thank God that, that women are, 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 are standing up and going into courtrooms, going into schools, going in and protesting against the transgender. That, that's what we need. We need more, more protesters in a good way. Glory to God to stop to stop this what what the devil is doing here on here, here on earth. He had no right to do that. He had no we had the blood brought right to stop him by going after him with the word of God. And by going after the schools and, and, and telling them, no, you cannot have this. The Bible says this. The Bible talks man and woman. You know, not not woman and woman or man and man. You know, and we need to be doing that. In in, in our prayers also. I will avenge you speedily. That's what he says in, a, in, 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 look at a, in chapter 18, where we're at. Look at verse 7. What did he say in verse 7? 
and, I, and, and shall not God avenge his own elect? Which, which cried day and night unto him, though he bear long with him, I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Jesus is saying that. He said that, 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 that's the writing, right? It's in red. Yeah. See, it's in red. He, he is saying that. He says, and God, and shall God not avenge his elect? God will do it. Which cry day and night unto him, though he bear long with him, I tell you that he will not, he will avenge him. It might, might take a little bit longer. Though it might take a little bit longer, but he will do it. It's uh, the judge delayed. The judge delayed from selfish indifference. The judge delayed giving her what she wanted because he was selfish. He was he was indifferent. You know, he, he, she wasn't part of his his, his his gathering or whatever it is. He was indifferent, so he delayed giving giving her anything or or, or giving into her. But God God also delays. From an all wise purpose, God have, God will delay when we pray. How many how many how many of us have gotten our prayers answered right away? You know, there's some things we still pray for that that we haven't gotten. I'm still you know, that I haven't gotten. You know, and, and so God delays, but He has a purpose for delaying it. He doesn't say, "Oh, because I, I don't want to do it." He He knows what is good for us and what isn't good for us. He knows that. He's not gonna. We're not gonna pray for a million dollars when we can't even handle our paychecks. You know, we're not. He's not gonna give us things that, that when we can't handle it. But he will. He will delay it, depending on what is asked and whether one has faith or not. God will delay, depending on what is what what you're asking for. We gotta be specific. I keep saying that over and over again because I, I, I'm praying from in myself and whoever's hearing me that they be learning learn to be specific, to be to be specific in the prayer, pinpoint, you know, target in on that, you know, zero in on that thing. Uh, I I, uh, I pray every time we get in the car. I pray for traveling mercy. I know a lot of people do, you know, and I pray for traveling mercy when I get in the car. Anywhere we go, to, we go to church, we go to, anywhere we're at, as soon as we get in the car, I pray. And so, and, and, and I'm saying this because about praying Pacific. The other day, we uh, were, were backing out of the driveway, my wife and I, and I started praying. You know, I, I pray for traveling mercy, I pray for that. And I started praying, Father, we thank you for the food we're about to receive. <laughs> we were going, to, we were going to, the, to, the, to a restaurant, and I was thinking already I'm in the restaurant, Instead of praying for the for for traveling mercy, I'm praying for the food I'm supposed to receive. So our mind's gotta be right. Our mind's gotta be, you know, zeroed in on on, on what we're gonna pray, you know, and and and, 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 and know that and know that uh, know that uh, that um, when we come to God, uh, we're gonna we're gonna come to Him with sincerity, you know, at heart. So pray specifically, not for the food when you're gonna drive away. Depending on what is asked, or whether one has faith or not. If it's something that is promised only for, for, the, for the next life, then the day is clear from Scripture. Okay? Sometimes you pray for things that are not going to happen in this life. So look it up in Scripture, it'll tell you when, how to pray, and everything. But we are to, we are to pray. We are to pray specifically, he says. If it is something promised in this life, then refuse to give up until it is, it is received. If it's promised in this life, don't give up. Don't give up until you receive it. It might not happen right away, but it will happen. It will happen. And I always, I always think about it. I always think about, 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 
about uh, about Noah, you know, in in this ark. I would think about Abraham, you know, you know, think uh, uh, other uh, other other people in the Bible, you know. I think about them, how how, how they had to wait a long time. It didn't happen right away, but it didn't come to pass, you know. But they were but they were persistent, like the, the lady here. I don't know how long she was she was coming to see the judge. It doesn't say how long she was there. But she, but she did come consistently every day until that happened, you know. So we begin to pray for things. We begin, to, we can ask God, you know, for things. But we gotta, we gotta have it settled in the heart that that we're gonna, we're, that we're gonna be persistent and that we're not gonna give up. And we're gonna pray until we receive that whatever, whatever we're praying for. And the Bible says that it, it happened. It said that it said it will happen because God says, "Ask it, ask in my name." Jesus, ask in my name, and they shall come to pass. And so we, we uh, as humans, we, we don't get things right away. We don't think it's happening right away. We don't see it happening right away. And right away we give up or we can make excuses or, or oh yeah, well, we, we shouldn't have it. Or, or God, or somebody come and tell you, maybe God doesn't want you to have it. Oh yeah, okay, God doesn't want me to have it. You believe somebody else instead of believing, believing God that he said he'll give it to us. You know, we, we, need to, we need not to hear what, what people are telling us. Not to hear what the devil is talking talk to it. Not to hear, not to hear the, 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 the voice of a stranger. But know that, that through prayer, that God says he'll answer us. Because remind him, remind him in, in Luke chapter 18, verse 7. He says it if he said it. He says, and shall not God avenge his own elect? Were his own elect? Which cry day and night unto him, though he bear... Long with it, though he takes a little longer, though he takes a little bit long, I would tell you that he will avenge them speedily. It might be a long time, but to me it'll be it'll be speeding to him. But God will answer. Amen. I pray for those that are out there. Uh, I just want to share with you. Maybe you're not born again. Maybe you're not sure what I was bringing out today. But it's talking about what God will do for you. He did it for me, he'll do it for you. You know, I cried unto God, you know, and he answered my prayer. And praise God, uh, I'm born again. And I'm preaching the gospel, glory to God. And and and, uh, and, uh, and and my name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. I know that I have a ticket to heaven, glory to God. Maybe you have a ticket, but where are you going? Are you going to heaven or are you going to hell? You, so it's up to you, you know. If you wanna, if you wanna, if you wanna serve God, and you wanna, you wanna your life to change. You wanna, you want things to change in your life. Maybe you're down, you're down in the dumps right now, and you say, you know, how can I get out of here? How can I, how can I climb out of this this miry pit that I'm in? Well, there's an answer, and Jesus is the answer. He's the answer for you today, tonight. And all you gotta do is ask Him into your heart, ask Him into your life. You know, you gotta believe in your, believe in your heart, but you gotta confess with your mouth. That Jesus Christ is Lord. So lay this prayer with me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I recognize that I'm a sinner. I acknowledge, Father God, that I, I sinned against you. And Father, now I I want to change my life. I need to change my life. And I need help, Father God. And I'm asking you today, Jesus, to come into my life. Forgive me for my sins. I acknowledge them. And forgive me for all my sins. And I thank you, Father God. That you went to Calvary and you died for me and you gave your life for me. So today, Lord, I ask you into my life and I thank you that I'm born again. I am a new person. Now today, glory to God, if you said that prayer, you're welcome to come to our church. We're at Praise Chapel uh, uh, Ministries there in the city of Baldwin Park. We're at 13831 uh, North uh, Ramona Parkway, in the corner of Ramona Parkway and in Merced Avenue. We'll be there Sunday morning at 9.30 for service. You're welcome to come visit us. God bless you. Good night.